Hi friends! Today we're going to do my TBR takedown for the month of January. If you're new here, I will quickly go over what the TBR takedown is. Essentially, it is my <laughs> lifelong dream achievement of getting my physical unread bookshelves down to a about 50 books. I'm not like super picky, but somewhere closer to 50. And for the month of January, I started out at 197 books for the year, which is less than 200 and less than it was last year. So I'm feeling okay about that. However, this was a heavy purchase month. Let's get started. As always, I will go through my book haul and then quickly go through the books that I read and then at the end we'll figure out a new number and hopefully it's lower than the number we started with. So the first book that I'm going to haul does not count towards raising my physical TBR because it is a book that I have already read. I purchased the paperback version of Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. I bought this from the local bookstore. It is what we are reading for the YA book club for the month. As the co-facilitator, this was my pick and I purchased the paperback version to annotate for the book club meeting. I wanted to get a paperback version A to support the local bookstore and B to have an annotated copy. And so I have that. The next three are also books that I bought from the local bookstore for book club books. The first of which is Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton. Uh, this book is a dual timeline, modern day, and in the early days of Fidel Castro's Cuba. And it follows a grandmother and a granddaughter and kind of their story of what Cuba means to them. And that was the January book club book. Next is the February book club book and it is The Dry by Jane Harper. This book is set in Australia and it follows a, he's a police officer but he does like money forensics versus like murder cases but his childhood friend and wife and child were murdered so he goes back to his hometown to kind of help figure out um, what happened. There's speculation that it was like a murder-suicide but also could have been a murder so he's trying to help figure out what happened in that situation and it also is kind of a dual timeline in that the two guys also had a female best friend when they were little kids and she also died as a I think they were like 16, 17 and she died as well so there's kind of that plot line to it and so that. And then for the February nonfiction book club, I got Just Mercy by Brian Stevenson. This is about uh, the lawyer who founded the Equal Justice Initiative. And his one of his first cases, which was Walter McMillan, there is a, a movie about this now. Is it Michael B. Jordan? I think it is. But yeah, so this is the book that we're reading for February's nonfiction book club. And then we have the three new releases that I picked up for January and they are Chosen by Kirsten White. This is the second book in the Slayer series. The series follows a girl named Nina who is a watcher. It's part of the Buffy the Vampire Slayer universe. Follows Nina in all of the things that happen after the end of the Buffy comic book series. And then Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. This is the third book and I believe the final book in the Truly Devious series which we just hauled a minute ago. And this series follows a girl who goes off to this prestigious school where they take in people who are prodigies of different types of things. She is a prodigy of solving crime and murders and several years prior when the school was founded the founder's wife and daughter and a student were murdered and so she goes to the school trying to figure out who killed these people 70 some years ago and then bodies start dropping in modern day. So again multi-timeline. I think I have a theme here. I didn't know that until right this second but okay. And the last is Tweet Cute by Emma Lord. This is a book following Pepper and Jack who are two teenagers whose parents run rival grilled cheese food trucks and they run their food trucks Twitter accounts and they go to the same school and they have like a cute 
hate to love romance I believe. So that puts us up six books which I believe makes it 203. <sighs> I am quickly going to go over the books that I read for the month. If you want to see my full thoughts, I will link the review video in the description box below as well as in the cards because on months when I read a lot of books that just makes this way too long to review those in this video. So the books that I read are The Wives by Taryn Fisher, In the Key of Niragani by Natasha Dean, Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton, Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the fourth and final book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series, and Renegades by Marissa Meyer. That's five books, but the Taryn Fisher one doesn't count because I don't own that, which means it's four, which means my new total for the month of February's beginning is 199. It's under 200. It is under 200, but not buy enough to make me feel comfortable with it. Hopefully I'm not going to be buying as much in February. I don't think I have any pre-orders coming. I already have all the books that I need for all the book clubs. At the end of February I'll probably be getting the books for March's book clubs but that's outside of the point. Uh, I think that's everything. So if you've read any of these books or if you have any thoughts, opinions about them, please hit me up in the comments below if you are interested in the full review of those books like I said down below in the cards. Also linked down below are all of my social media including Goodreads and Instagram and Twitter and so if you'd like to chat to me anywhere else we can do that as well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!